Welcome back to another video. Uh, I am here with Quaker X, uh, one of the developers at Othergate, and we are here showcasing the newest update, a uh, Halloween spooky update. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be called, but yeah, welcome the Quaker X. Halloween sandbox update. Perfect. Perfect. That sounds <laughs> fantastic. Uh, yeah, so we're going to we're going to showcase. It's not going to be one of those long discussion type videos uh, and so you might catch myself or maybe Quaker X uh, rambling on and we'll try to catch each other on that to not do that so much because we actually did record a discussion video and my video failed. And so an hour and a half <laughs> went to waste there. So yeah, there we go. Enough of Some the rambling. Some of the clips made it in the trailer though. So it worked out. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that, that is good to hear. It's all good. All right. Well, what is the first thing that you have to show off here? Well, since we're... We're by the the barrels at the in the lobby. We could we finally got this hooked up. Heck yeah, yeah. This is amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. No. And this Little is witch's something... brew or health potion. Witch's brew. You know. Okay. But you know, I can pour you a glass, <laughs> and I can pour it right. Pretty sweet stuff. Or right, right into the floor. Networked. Yeah. You know liquid pouring <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm sure a lot of effort went into that and yeah so people yeah. enjoy it enjoy it it is amazing perfect perfect well that that's a good start i i do love love to have a drink especially because of how asked for this has been uh, yes and people just like always going up to that sink and trying to use it so perfect guess that is that for that's that faucet cool Be yeah i mean obviously we got some halloween themed yep decorations aesthetic yeah. yes yeah i do so... like oh uh, good oh no what were you gonna say yeah on top of the the pumpkins aesthetic and skeletons everywhere there's this uh color scheme that has changed a little bit as well which i am loving cool glad you like it yeah, yeah this one was sort of a last minute thing too we did it for the christmas where we changed the you know the, the colors and we changed the basically it's a new biome in the game and we were able to do that with this so it'd be cool to bring this into you know other parts of the game i also really like the look of it i think it's a nice change from the the dungeons which are very colorful in a lot of ways and then come yep. back to the lobby and it's more of a spooky you know grim setting in a way you know, for sure colors and everything just kind of a different yeah pace. yeah it does look really cool, cool, for sure. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, to, to cut off the discussion, what next? <laughs> well, clearly we're, we're dressed as some of the new cosmetics in the game. So That's we could right. run over there, actually, and might be able to explain that. Perfect. Let us do it. So we've... This is our first update that's going to also have some in-app purchases. So you can purchase the skeleton pack, which gives you a head arms we actually had you have custom first person arms that match the skeleton yep. which is pretty cool yep and then it comes with you know legs so different parts basically that you can also mix and match with your existing characters so you don't just have to play as a full skeleton yep i have this crazy gold armor on which is also part of another avatar pack that we're selling which is the the supporter pack and this is really like hey if you want to support the devs a little bit for like you know, doing more updates and things like that. This is sort of a, a cool little pack that is exclusive to those to those players who purchase it. Yeah, support yeah. us that way. So you get a custom armor kit, which is the the torso. You get legs, feet, he helmet, things like that. And then you also get a special accent color, uh, several actually. And but they turn your armor, your existing armor, gold. Pretty sweet. Oh, and then you get a little um. You know, JJ, you're a you're a you're a patron supporter. So you yep. have the, the gold icon, the gold. And you skull. do too. You're, you're supporting yourself. That's that's good stuff. So Nice. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, no, the first thing that I, I came in here for, I actually have like a reaction type video. Put in. Uh, I was very excited about these, uh, more so than maybe some people should be. But yeah, no, I think this is a great addition. To cut off my, my rambling and discussion, we'll, we'll yeah, zombie. Yeah, we have... <laughs> Yeah, they're a lot of they're they add a lot to the game. Yeah, uh, I think they turned out really well. The, you get a lot of different variations by just adding a few new pieces. 
but then the arms are a lot of fun. And well, we're both skeletons. We'll have to we'll totally. have to switch and show that too. Yep. The fleshy arms turn out really nice. We got yeah. that. Um, and then Sweet. those are the paid ones, but we also added se several new free cosmetics. Quite a bit, actually. There's the a whole other free kit called the we call it the Sandstorm Survivor Kit, but I think in the game the pieces are called Desert Desert okay. um, Hood Desert Pants. You get the torso piece. You get this like scarf as well, so you can mix and match that with things. We have some Halloween themed, you know, oh. horns. Pumpkin head, so there's some hats. So there's definitely free stuff as well. Yeah, I'm gonna throw yeah. that in there. That is awesome. And and yeah, if you are buying these these bundles, you don't have to get all of them. You can just get one and then mix and match with the free stuff. Yeah. Or yeah, if you just see one particular thing you really like, uh, like if I was really trying to save my money, then I would probably only get the skeleton because I really like the skeleton. But uh, yeah, no, you can, you can get whatever you want and mix and match. So. Yeah. Yeah, and going forward, we'll we'll always do some free cosmetics, and then you know we'll probably add. We have some more in the works for these as well. So, okay, perfect. Yeah, players, yeah. let's let us know what you. We'll know what <laughs> what people are buying. That'll help. Yeah, <laughs> but Put also, in the comments, you know, if there's other uh, ones they they want to see, you know, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, Bring yeah, exactly. Pay. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, if you want to pay for more stuff, let us know what you would want to pay for. Cool, cool. Well, uh, or sorry, let the developers know. But yeah, what's <laughs> next? I guess we we didn't go through and like show the zombie arm, so we might as well go into our yeah. We can do that really quick. Yeah, let's do it. And that's something that I haven't really looked at because I have again been mostly using the skeleton. Um, but I can watch as you change from a skeleton to a zombie. And it doesn't change as I'm looking at him. Uh, it's changing on his screen on his end. But once he steps away, it'll it'll change him into whatever he changed to. And then, yeah, he'll have his cool there arms. There he goes. And then I got to change my arms. And one thing that I didn't notice at first before you pointed it out to me was changing the color of the skin is what changes the color of the zombie. But then you can change the accent color for the skeleton and that changes the color of the skeleton yeah exactly. actually to go with that though does the skeleton change color with skin color or does he even have skin skin he color? does yeah you can make like a red skeleton oh cool okay you know if you want to do that sort of thing or green i mean you can do any of the skin colors work awesome awesome yeah yeah there's the zombie looking pretty spiffy over there that is very nice yeah i think the the skeleton or the zombie arms are really cool and, I mean, yeah. Uh, it, any of the arms. They are all so turned cool. out pretty good. I think yeah. they're really cool. I know players have wanted the other, you know, these should all work as well. Um, and that's on our list. We'll, we'll see if we get to that. It's, it's a decent amount of work. So, um, but I know that would be really cool. And also changing the accent color of your hand. Like you, you're blue, but you're in, in your first person view, it's, you don't have the yeah. blue accent color, the, the glow. Right, right. Yeah. So that'll, we'll, we'll see what comes, but, so far people can mess with these these new cosmetics and i think that's awesome cool cool well uh that is i guess it of course people can explore on their own once they they uh, get the update coming by the time this video comes out i think the uh the update will probably also be yeah. out so yeah people just explore and i guess the official date for the release is the 18th tomorrow we're recording on Wednesday, 17th is so. the official so tomorrow the 17th is when it comes out the 17th okay well yeah if cool. all goes well no <laughs> okay yeah if, if all goes yeah exactly <laughs> if, if something doesn't destroy the game in the meantime we'll we'll see but cool yeah no that's exciting and uh of course people will will be able to go check out this stuff once it comes and i see you're also uh you've got a spear on your back that is a new yes. thing as well yes the new weapon type we added spears and I think we should go to try them out. Sweet, sweet. Yep. Can... Into the into the new new thing yes, that we're gonna try do. In the new mode. Yeah. And I. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's see. Perfect collision. I love the collision. Oh yeah. On the skeletons. You... <laughs> Fix that for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, 
Let's do it. I'm guessing the yeah, the pumpkins. Of course, of course, they have blazers. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So they were, they were too big. They got. I could have gotten away with the uh, no <laughs> the skulls, skulls, but someone submitted a bug report. <laughs> yeah, that darn someone. Uh, <laughs> can't get away with that. But uh, all right. Well, into this this new interesting thing that has on the YouTube uh, already, but yeah, just seeing it here, sand burn up. Do it. Yeah, this yeah. is the sandbox. So it's, we can hop in and easier to explain it there because we'll walk you through the UI. It basically Great. allows you to, it's just an arena for now. Um, you know, we may add more arenas over time or, or change this one, add more things to it, things like that. Uh, this yep. is definitely the first iteration of the sandbox so we'll definitely do you know updates to this to where like right now there's not like an actual in game end game score things yeah. we just didn't get around to you know implementing it in the way we really wanted it but eventually that's going to come in like an, a future update where you know some in game stats and be able to share the encounters you create things like that that'll yep. hopefully be coming you know update yeah but this basically allows you to come in here and create you know, waves of enemies. You can pick the, the realm. This is just visual for now, but we can also add, you know, some that are, you know, maybe like super foggy area or like some things that you may not see in the game. We could add right. some sort of experimental biomes here, which would be pretty cool. Set, set your difficulty. And then here we can do, you know, we can bring in our weapons or we could go bows only, spears only. Check that out. That works, yeah. Hazards, you can do pits on or off, and then pickups. We'll just do we'll do health. I think we got worked pretty good last time, so we need the health drops. <laughs> yeah. Or resurrects. Would... Oh, no, there's right. not an option, actually. You do get right. them. We should have made potions. We evolve. forgot to get them. That's okay. <laughs> and and, you and you potions there. you make in the outpost do trans like come yes. into the sandbox yes. as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you could load up beforehand and come in. Uh, yep. So here it allows you to pick up to design it to 10 waves. You could do one. The first wave has one spider. No, I don't like that. You can come back here and do Yeah, like and that. we mentioned in the discussion that we had that got deleted um, was that there's networking reasons that I can't see what he is seeing as he does this. And basically, the gist of that is um, th this is probably the most efficient and worthwhile do for the time being so i don't i don't know if you want to expand on that or if we just continue here but yeah figured I yeah so it. what but what you can see is you don't have, you can't come in here and control the host has to design yeah but i can't see the, the waves, wave but you can or, see the waves yeah. when i put them up there so you know it's actually a lot of fun to you know you could go into the arena explore and go set up beforehand because the gate you know, we used to have a gate here and we, as we started playing it we found out that it was a lot more fun just to be in the arena. The other players can go in there, and then the host can set up something and surprise everyone. Or they yeah. can come in here and you know discuss the wave list together and figure out what they want to play. But yeah. he can go in there and and set up wherever he wants to be. Yeah, and and this we and we also had a, a pretty we had a bit of a discussion about like dungeon master type stuff as well. Um, but that's just the kind of potential that. I'm sure most people that see this are going to be mentioning like, oh, maybe the, the one person control and like be the dungeon master and whatnot. And, and yes, that, that is something that they've thought about. And uh, yeah, it, it could be Definitely exciting. We but think right about now, a lot. <laughs> yeah. We have a um, bunch of ideas there. And I know that the, the community has suggested a lot of things around something like that too. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, switch from my weapon to my spear. Long spear. So yeah, this is the nice. new, new weapon type that we added. The spears. It's really good for spiders, bats, all those little guys. But it's well, you can throw it as well. Yup. Very satisfying to throw, might I say. And yeah, a cool thing you can have is like take pocket practice with a bunch of the the critters that you spawn in here. 
whether it's exploding heads or bats or slimes or whatever else you want to do. Very yeah, it is good a good way even practice. Yeah, to, to try out new weapons. You, you can not. Uh, you can also play a higher tier than what you're on and, and test that and try out you know different weapons. So if you did yeah. bows only, you, you're going to get even a, a lower level player could get legendaries to play with. Yeah. Kind of play around with them. Different weapon class. Sorry. Oh boy. I die here. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Wait. I just stabbed him in the face and he didn't die. Oh no. I might be done for you. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Seven health. If anything comes. Oh no. I oh, I'm missing it. Okay. Missing the A button. There we. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Whew. And so you can throw underhand with these, or you can flip it around and throw overhand. Or, uh, yeah, I guess overhand is not the term. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Overhead, <laughs> over the shoulder, whatever. But yeah, you can throw it that way. Another way is you can throw it sort of underhand. Yeah, yeah. You know? If the underhand is it's the easiest to just like pull it out and underhand throw but uh yeah it does it looks cool to do the overhead throw either way kind of works but yeah pretty sweet oh. Oh, oh, we missed oh. <laughs> nice and seven percent here we go oh gosh yeah and another thing the Enemies can now be basically any um, any variant. Yeah, correct. Exactly. Yeah, so. so some of the enemies to... never had an ice version, and now we have that for every every type of enemy has every. You know, so technically, there are some new enemies. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you you know what the ice beholder is going to do, you know? <laughs> or octonius. Right. right, right. Can't call him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an octoculus. Come on. And this is this is a good thing to do for challenges. Oh man, especially I'm getting this book. But yeah, might be hard oh, for yeah, you. Not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, they they spawn. What was that? A wave of ten imps or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was pretty put, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah, you also mentioned that you can have eight enemies spawned at once. Is that that? Yeah, that that's the max. So if you put it to twenty-five skeletons, it'll do eight, and then we'll have to fight eight. through them, and it'll just keep spawning. Yeah. yeah. And so each time you kill one, another one spawns, right? Pretty much. Cool. Yeah. And so if if you let them all uh i guess keep spawning and surrounding you then you can get killed like we just did so you gotta gotta make it work best you can but yeah that's i guess we we just saw the random spears that we had now the spear switched because we did random spears again and it, it's a random matter as long as you're not doing your your default loadout right correct Cool. Uh, and there's only one you can bring in your own you know weapons like you're saying but we yeah, do have one yeah. setting for staffs where you can do fire staffs only but we've removed the need to use the gem so you can just blast enemies which is another thing actually feels pretty good we changed the the hand position on the staffs and the spears because the spear and the, the long swords actually we could show that after this yep that is very very helpful. Yeah. In my opinion. The range on these spears is very nice. If anyone struggles with that super close combat, you might wanna wanna focus on getting spears.
Yeah, I really enjoyed the spears. They they had a, a nice change to the to the combat. I agree. Being able to stab from a distance. And yeah, the stab you get, little, you get very... more space. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can very control satisfying. it well, either one handed or two handed. Yep. And it still has that same kind of longsword mechanic where if you hold it one handed it doesn't quite perform. Or or right. at least if you hold it like really far down, it doesn't move quite as fast. Like it has what do, you, what do we call it? Drag? Is that the, the technical term there? Yeah, a little bit. It does have a little bit. It's it it definitely ooh. I wanna say I don't well no, that may just be for the two handed swords. I'm not sure if it does more power if you're holding it one hand or two hand. Okay. Yeah, well I mean I know the for the two handed sword you do have the uh what is this? The the knockback that you get can really happen with the, the two hands. But you you don't know if there's any like special abilities that the spear can get with two hands. No. Okay. No, but that's something we want to add some more of as well. Cool. Yeah. The uh, more weapon perks, exo perks, things like that. I agree. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Way to kill there. Uh oh. Perfect. Good. Did it. And you can have a total of 10 waves, right? Yeah. So that is something people can mess with and, uh, even if like maybe challenges come in the future, you don't even need to wait for that. You can create your own challenges. You can screenshot those challenges and share it with people and um, kind of like do, do it your, yourself in a way. Um, but now that you have access to the sandbox, it allows the community to do more of that and kind of just test things. So yeah, no, I, I think it's a great addition. And again, that's something we, we discussed extensively in the this is discussion video but again we're trying to showcase is there any else that we should showcase here should we go into the great swords a little bit for that uh just to show off the yeah grip? we can do it here okay yeah because yeah, i mean you can even show it with the spear grip but i guess we can just do a wave or two with the long swords to show that yeah you can do like just one wave and just that works. 25 skeletons. Actually, we, should go and do, we need pits for this. <laughs> oh, yes. Perfect. So, yeah, the grip before we walk in it used mm -hmm. to be more vertical. You take your hand, the, the sword out, and it'd be more vertical. So, it was a lot harder to hold for certain people, for some people. And it just wasn't, you couldn't hit the ground reliably. You know, you get more yep. range with this. It just feels more comfortable. And I think, yeah, yeah all feedback so, so far has been it's a lot better. Agreed. Yeah. And, and so, like, when we held it like this before, it would naturally just be like that. Um, yeah. But now it, it feels more how we're holding the controllers. So, yeah, I think that was a great change. And there was uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention. Oh, man. Forgot. But that's okay. I'm sure I'll come back to it. But, yeah, that's... Well, yeah, so the hand pose also, we, we did it for the spears, and then we brought the same thing, the long swords, yeah. and then we took it to the the staffs as well staffs. so yep. so when you play soul harvest it's got it just feels a lot better now you can hold the staff at your side you know comfortably yep. and then use it like another weapon in your other hand so yeah all yeah the you don't have to like the fireball staff is right it works oh, yeah, across and... a lot of the weapon types so yeah and the fireball staff you can also use in the sandbox but that's the yep. only staff you can use at the moment in the sandbox and it regenerates uh, shots per gem. I don't know. We we might just show that off real quick, but sure. This, the longsword works. Go ahead and kill some stuff for a little bit. Yep. Whew. 
Yeah, I'm finding that it is fairly difficult to, to remember exactly uh, <laughs> what we went over and what we did and yeah. like what were those <laughs> points that that we need to, to showcase. But I, I think we're hitting most of the points. I think we're, yeah, I think so too. Play, everyone get to play it, you know, soon. And yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, give it feedback. Yourself. Tell your friends, you know. All of that, yep. Uh-oh. I guess I figured this out. Uh, I'm gonna go to the front. Uh, <laughs> it is pretty funny watching you as a skeleton wreck other skeletons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be funny to see people just like scaring each other with yeah. both the skeleton and the, the undead zombie skin. <laughs> That did happen last time we, the last video we did a record, I, I shot you a few times because I thought you were an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And, and I guess you can always put clothes on your yourself as a skeleton and make the accents different so that that doesn't happen. Yep. But I, yep. I think that happening is fun enough that you, you might as well just try to disguise yourself as an enemy. See if you can trip your, your teammates to shooting you. Right. Uh, oh, wait. That means are we facing the uh the flying skulls again oh no lost have done that. no that's yeah. okay <laughs> that is okay those are a lot of fun in, in the sandbox there. oh oh the one thing that Probably i was going to mention enemy. yeah the one thing that i was going to mention is when you choose the uh level the difficulty and you have a random uh a random weapon it'll give you a weapon that's kind of equal to that difficulty yes that yeah okay that is this guy's got a ton of help something to note <laughs> oh, man. four arrows in. i i forget that i can <laughs> uh melee with this thing too sometimes Yeah, when you're out of, you overheat, you gotta use the melee stick. The melee staff, it turns into the, the very, melee. the fan favorite, the melee staff. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any any plans for the melee staff that you would, uh, you want to make oh, public? You know, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the plan is to, to stick with it, just kind of being the melee yeah. staff. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not something we really talk about too often. But yeah. Maybe the other guys have enough. some ideas. Yeah. No, I, I don't think. I mean, sometimes the loot sucks, you know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People gotta get over it for sure. So this is kind of the the perfect thing to do in the sandbox. It's just to test out things. And I mean, obviously we're, we're showcasing and so showcasing is a, a example of what you can do with the sandbox, but yeah, testing different situations, testing different weapons when you don't find them in the, in the dungeon or uh, you're a new player, you want to see what you might want to play with later on, or I don't know, again, like challenges, that's what you can do as well. Make your own challenge type thing. And I, I feel like there again is a very good amount of potential with this, so. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I guess that was most of the the things to showcase in this. Um, can you think of that. anything else with the sandbox? Nope. I think we Off covered top, it. Okay. Yeah, I think we we did mostly get it. Um, we got the outpost. Oh, there was something in the outpost that I would like to find. Oh yeah. There's yeah. that. There there is that. If Another little find... Halloween fun thing like for the the christmas update last year we did the snowballs in the in the mm -hmm. lobby there was something new that was you know festive to interact with so yeah. there's something for this update as well there is something if we can find it i mean that something is i think you said not in the training room but i could be wrong uh, i think it it's only supposed to spawn in here. Sometimes it's down here. 
Yeah, or or sometimes maybe it's it's so hidden. Maybe it accidentally like the the soul keeper just threw it in the pit or something. I think so. It drives yeah. him nuts. <laughs> yeah, I, that is something that um, I'm sure it could be a good thing to to keep on the down low and not. Yeah. Not show anybody in a showcase, and they can figure it out for themselves. Just so the people well, that too. That too. watching this video know, you can find something in the outpost. Go find it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that works. Um, sweet. Uh, anything else that we should go over? I think that covers it. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of bugs, bug imp you know, improvements and fixes. There's some new. New, there's a big change log. There's a new, some new rooms. Yep. We didn't get to as many oh. as we really wanted to, but it's better than zero, in my opinion. And there's some cool new right. stuff in there. So, but we're gonna be adding more of those as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so the new rooms, uh, yeah, that's something that we we can't easily showcase because you'd have to go through the dungeons and find them yourself. And so, yeah, go do that. Yeah, I've already seen a couple of the new rooms, and they're so cool. There's running water in some of the new rooms, and. Uh, yeah, I don't want to, I guess, spoil too much of it, but go see for yourself. It is really cool what they've done in the new rooms. And yeah, all of the bug fixes, I personally appre appreciate those a ton. Uh, and I'm sure many people appreciate them, even if they don't really notice. And so, yeah, those are always welcome fixes. And yeah, I guess this is kind of the stopgap update until the next big update. Basically. Yeah, and so We're, we will do something for um, Christmas time, holidays. Okay. So yeah, so we'll do you, something there. Even even if it, this isn't your favorite thing, if if sandbox isn't exactly what you want, then you still got something to look forward to. I yeah. would still highly recommend check out that sandbox. Just give it a shot. Uh, go check out a new the new weapon. Like it's fun to play with the spear. New weapon, you know, it exactly. Adds a new dimension to the game. So, yep, every weapon and does. So. We got a lot we want to do for the next one we'll we'll see what we get to <laughs> but Sweet. we have a, a big Perfect. long list of suggestions and and feedback from players that we want to focus on so yes i i might cool even new content say, we've been working on so we'll, yeah yeah the the list is is uh similar to to eternity it is Correct. eternity so that's exactly what it yeah. is yeah perfect well i i guess that's that's it for the showcase um any any last remarks or uh mm -hmm. my last remarks are go buy the in that purchasable cosmetics they are freaking awesome and yes yeah, support these amazing developers because they deserve it and this game deserves it and yeah that's those are mine thanks jj no problem yeah cool all right well that's it i think that's it that's perfect perfect well yeah i'll <laughs> see people in the next video again leave comments down below if there's anything particular you want or um you love about this update let me know let the developers know go join the discord do all, all the things and the youtube things and whatnot um but yeah hope you enjoy showcase and peace out cool i guess that's that good that's it yeah i think it recorded <laughs> <laughs> I really I really hope it did. Oh my god.